So one of the most unique things about the YouTube platform is thumbnails. TikTok auto plays, Instagram pretty much auto plays. All the other platforms feed you content and you're kind of already consuming it before you know it. But on YouTube, the audience actually has to make the conscious decision to click on a video in order to watch it. And that decision is largely based on the thumbnail. When we first started making videos, we wouldn't really put much thought into it. It was like, make a cool video and then right before upload, pick a screenshot. But over the past year, a lot of the growth on our channel has largely been because we've prioritized making thumbnails. We've realized that the difference between a thousand views and a million views can come down to a thumbnail. We also realized this because the thumbnail king himself, Mr. Beast, and his team told us we need to make better thumbnails. Hey, what's up, boys? Have you seen Colin Instagram? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you love him, Carl, yeah. right? I, I know, I tell them to make their thumbnails better all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and the most important thing we've learned from the thumbnail king himself is that if they don't click, they don't watch. We're at a point now where we won't even pick up a camera until we've fully come up with the title and thumbnail that we're gonna use for a video. And we will even go as far as to produce the thumbnail for the video before we actually shoot the video. And that's because if we can't come up with a good compelling thumbnail that would make someone click, most likely that video won't even get seen by the people that we want to see it. And the importance of the thumbnail is wrapped up into one term that a lot of us YouTube creators know, and that's CTR. Stands for click through rate. So basically that is the percentage of people who have seen your thumbnail and decide to click on it. The majority of YouTube channels range between 2% and 10%. And if you're anywhere near that 10% marker, meaning 10% of people that saw your thumbnail actually clicked on it, that's a pretty good indication that you're doing something right. In studying which one of our thumbnails are closer to 10% CTR and which ones are not, we've come up with three components that make a really good thumbnail. Number one, the thumbnail has to stop your scroll. What that means is people are scrolling through social media platforms so fast, and even on YouTube, they're scrolling through their subscription feed or their home feed or the trending page, or they're seeing very small frames in their recommended. It has to stop them in their tracks. For us, we found that a big face in the frame works really well. Symmetry also has shown to work really well for us. What's important here is that you have a high res photo and that it's aesthetically pleasing and that it's loud enough or controversial enough or just captures attention. It has to stop someone's scroll. Now, once you've stopped someone's scroll, you have a split second to make sure that they know what the story could be. And that's the next thing we've seen that good thumbnails have. They tell a story. So you have to set up the entire video in a single frame. It's the ultimate storytelling constraint. You have to put your entire act one, the entire reason why someone should watch to the end in one single frame. And that frame is your thumbnail. And number three, a good thumbnail either begs a question or suggests transformation. The audience has to know why they should invest their time in this video. Either they have a question after seeing your thumbnail or they're excited to see something transform. Okay, so what we're gonna show you guys, we're gonna take some of our worst performing thumbnails and try and make them better thumbnails according to those three things that we just mentioned to you. Now to do that, we're gonna be using Skylum's photo editing software, Luminar AI. It is a photo editing software that makes photo editing really easy and honestly, just a lot of fun. Like you can do some incredible, amazing things. Samir does not make our thumbnails because he doesn't know how to do any photo editing. Wow. That's just the truth. But now, honestly, yesterday he spent the entire day basically making thumbnails and he was sending them to me last night at 1130. Which is typically past my bedtime. But yes, I was making thumbnails. Colin, feels like you're attacking me right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to express how exciting making thumbnails was for you yesterday because of Luminar AI. I mean, I'm gonna go as far as to say that I think this software is the ultimate thumbnail creation software for YouTube creators. All right, so what we've done is we've pulled in some screenshots from our old videos that have terrible performing thumbnails so that we could try and recreate them. But before we do that, we wanna quickly show you a photo and show you some of the features that Luminar AI has because it's truly incredible what you can do. This is a drone shot that was taken by our editor, Jesse, here in Venice, and we are going to edit it. So first and foremost, for me, again, I'm not really like familiar with editing software. So what's really nice is they have these templates. So the AI tells you what it recommends for this photo. Uh, let's just try the first one here. All right, so in one click, this is basically editing the photo as it sees fit. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. So already you can see the difference here. This is edited and that's not. Okay, what gets really interesting here is some of these AI features. This has to be one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in any software. You can actually change the way the sky looks. This is a nighttime shot. So let's take a look at like what a starry night one look like. 
<laughs> I mean, what's crazy is that it also mats out the image around the palm trees, the flag you can see there. A few clicks and we've just made like a really dynamic image. I mean, look at that. That looks insane. Let's do a sunset. Wow. Uh, to be honest, that looks really real. Did Luminar add the helicopter? helicopter? Yeah, I think so, right? Look at that. That is insane. And again, as you can see, before, after. Before, after. <laughs> How long has it been? I mean, I know we've edited this down, but I think it's been 90 seconds. Let's move on to now a thumbnail. Another one of our videos is about <laughs> skydiving. Uh, and we actually do have photos. Like, you know, when you jump out of the plane and the person like takes the shots. And so we have photos, but we didn't use a photo. We use a screenshot. Because that's what we were doing at that time, which again is not advised. So we're actually going to take one of those photos and edit it. And see what it looks like. So first and foremost, so that's adding light to both of our faces. Which is crazy that it knows where the faces are. Yeah. Already we have a much better thumbnail. This enhance AI feature, I honestly don't know exactly what it's doing. It, I guess it's just enhancing. Yeah, you just trust but you just the trust software. the software to know what to enhance, which is really cool. All right, so another thing we want to do here is we want to mess with the sky. There's a lot of sky to work with in this one. Crazy. That's crazy. It's going to replace the entire sky. It's going to replace the entire sky. So that feels like it's, uh, I mean, that's already cooler. The one, one with like. the chemtrail was interesting because it, you would assume that there's a plane. There's an airplane. This one? Yeah. Yeah. And we could actually put a plane right there too, right? Mm -hmm. So we could go, now we can place an object. Let's place a plane. Make it small enough. Mm -hmm. So another thing we need to do here is change the composition, right? Because it needs to be 16 by 9. Boom. Dude, All right. that's I mean, such a better th thumbnail. That's a better thumbnail. Before, after. Before, after. So definitely feels like it, it could stop your scroll. There's a big face and screen. There's some symmetry here. And again, this frame tells a story. All right, so this is a screen grab that we took from a video called Colin's 6,000 Mile Surprise, where he goes home to surprise his parents. The thumbnail right now for this video, I am in a airplane train, uh, basically like a train car, and you can only see my feet. You can't even see my face. You have no idea really what's going on. So we grabbed a screenshot from the video where my face is more visible and I'm actually on a plane. So you can tell that I'm traveling, I'm going somewhere to surprise someone. All right, so first and foremost, we want to get some more light on Colin's face. So we're gonna go here to the portrait section. Uh, we're gonna click face. And the first thing you have is face light. And so the AI is actually gonna be able to tell where Colin's face is and add more light to his face. Have we enhanced yet? No. So we're going to enhance. Okay. So we want to change what's in this window. We want to make it look like a more compelling sky, something that obviously feels like he's in midair. There's such little horizon here that we actually need to use this paint tool and paint a mask inside of here. All right. So now that we have the window matted out, we're going to add a brand new sky. Wow. Okay. So that looks... That may be too bright. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That feels like, uh, like this, this to me feels like it would be a video about dreams, mm. why you shouldn't fall asleep on a plane or what happens when you fall asleep on a plane. Ooh, let's try this. I like that. I like that. Do a little before and after here. <laughs> before, after. That's insane. Because from being totally dark and unsaturated, the window's blown out to like a much better image. And that's a much more interesting act one for a story because you can tell I'm on a plane. Clearly, I'm going somewhere. And then when you see in the title that it's a surprise, it's much more enticing to click and see who I surprise, what the travel is actually like. All right, what else we got? What else can we Luminar AI? <laughs> As a verb. Yes. What else can we Luminar AI? All right, home to India. This is a video that I have about taking a trip with my dad back to a village in India. It doesn't have a great thumbnail. So we took this screenshot, uh, which is also not a great screenshot. Very low quality image. Super low res, uh, but let's see what we can do. All right, ready? Before, after. That's wild, right? So much better. Wow, that is such a better thumbnail. Okay, so hopefully you learned a lot about YouTube thumbnails in this video and you saw how impactful Luminar AI can be to totally change around your thumbnails. Again, I'm not someone who's 
really familiar with editing software or good at photo editing, but I felt like I was like a wizard in Luminar AI. Like I was able to do things that I couldn't dream of. It does feel like that. It feels yeah. insane. Yeah. I, it's I was it's like, a crazy experience. It's yeah. like you are getting on a rocket ship and you don't know where it's going to take you but it ends up taking you to some pretty incredible places. Like, yeah, it feels yeah. like you have superpowers. And and again, like when you really get into this career of being a creator, you start to realize how important thumbnails are. And this tool will drastically change our ability to make compelling thumbnails as well as reduce the time it takes to make those. Yeah. So in the beginning of the video, we mentioned click-through rate, which is incredibly important. But one thing we didn't mention is AVD. That's average view duration. That's the other metric that we take a hard look at for all of our videos. That's the average amount of time that someone watches your video. And the goal is that you have a high AVD because you want people to watch all the way until the end, like this point of video right now. So not only do you have to make a really good thumbnail that entices someone to click, but you also have to back it up with a good story. So thanks so much to Skylum for sponsoring this video and for giving us Luminar AI because it's one of the most fun tools that I've used. And if you want to check out Luminar AI for yourself, we put a link in the description. If you are a YouTube creator, I'd highly suggest at least trying it out and checking out how you can completely transform your thumbnails. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you don't already. Like this video because it helps us in the YouTube algorithm. Rhythm. And lastly, check out the link in the description for Luminar AI. I got few things, but if you need it, dollar bill in your blue jeans. I'm gonna throw it to you, honey, like a true breeze. I'm just happy to my crib got two cents.